This is the final alarm for Cincinnati Fire Department, Fire Apparatus Operator Daryl Gordon, 6020 Dahlgren Street, Kings Tower Apartments, Firebox number 8371. The last call, a fitting end to three decades of service for a tri-state hero. Good evening, everybody. This has been a day packed with powerful images. Cincinnati streets turning into a sea of blue. Firefighters from all over the country joining together with Daryl Gordon's family and friends to pay their final respects to a man who gave his life serving our community. The day began like any call Gordon would have received. The procession began at Engine 14 downtown inside one of their trucks. The destination, St. Peter and Chains Cathedral, where we got a good look at the man Daryl Gordon was. Daryl has touched the lives of most of us here today. Teaching, teasing, helping, always trying to help us strive to be better. The service lasting nearly an hour. Then on to Gordon's last ride. Chopper 9 showing us the impressive procession line. So many people in trucks that the chopper couldn't even capture it all in a single shot. Meanwhile, back on the ground, another perspective at the lengthy procession. Our crew said it took nearly 15 minutes for all of the trucks to pass. We watched live as hundreds lined the streets, some holding flags, others wearing patriotic gear, kids out in their plastic fire helmets. Gordon's final resting place, Oak Hill Cemetery in Springdale. And a different kind of flyover. Three air care helicopters flew over the cemetery this afternoon, recognizing Gordon's work with their team. And one of those most compelling images from today's service, a single bagpiper walking over the hill with a bomb squad officer. This all followed by a traditional practice, the sound of an explosion which recognized more than two decades Gordon spent working with the bomb squad. And as we continue coverage, uh, covering this story tonight, we're learning more and more about who Gordon was outside the firehouse. Evan Millward's been talking to those who knew him, and he's on your side live tonight with what made this man more than a hero. Evan? Well, most of us were introduced to Daryl Gordon as a firefighter, and without a doubt, it's how most of us will remember him. It had come to define him, but tonight we should also remember that it wasn't all. If you came across Daryl Gordon, you are family. If only we all could have been so lucky. I really don't have the words to express how I feel about Daryl Gordon. He's one of the good guys. We were on the state championship team together, and uh, we grew up playing right here. Success started early and on the football field, part of 1978's Princeton High Dream Team. His skills weren't limited there. One heck of a cook. He made good food. King of the firehouse kitchen or backyard barbecue, he was so popular at those Glendale gatherings. The ones who knew him best. Yeah, he's a penny punch. They could give him a hard time as long as you could take it in return. He'd pick on me. I mean, they'd just pick on me. They'd do stuff to me that, you know, that you'd never think of. He did a real man's work. But knew how to have fun enjoying his Woodford Reserve, his friends his fraternity Kappa brothers. And wanted to see boys grow up into real men of character. I remember introducing him to my son who was about seven or eight at the time. And he was just so nice to my son and was talking to him and you know, just, he showed that he was interested in what my son had to say. He cared because he knew what was important. Daryl was a great family man. That's perhaps the most important thing we've learned about Daryl Gordon. If only we all could have been so lucky. As Daryl would say, let's go, kid. We've got a job to do. And just one block away from here at Gordon's Firehouse, it and the other houses across and stations across the city are back to work already tonight. Not to be lost today, the message to Gordon's wife Angela and his two daughters, you may have lost your rock, but in the process, you have gained hundreds of brothers and sisters. It's been an emotional day here in Cincinnati, and we are live at the Cincinnati Firefighters Memorial tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.